Ba -da -da. Hey everybody, last Outrider here with a rules clarification video for the Sporocyte and Tyrannocyte. In fact, I'm not even going to call this a rules clarification video. I'm just going to tell you this is the fucking rules video. There is no argument. There is no errata. There is no FAQ. Just do what it says. Any idiot who wants to argue with this, well, if you can resist the urge to smack them, then you can explain them the way I'm about to explain it to you. First, <sighs> is it a monstrous creature or a vehicle? <laughs> I, I can't even believe that's an argument. Seriously. Uh, for the last three versions of 40K, there has been one distinction that tells you whether a unit is a vehicle with firing arts or not. And that is, does it have a toughness or does it have an armor value? Okay? 20 years! That's been the distinction. 20 years! This has a toughness. It is not a vehicle. It does not have firing arcs. Period. No hand job of fate is necessary to be rolled. Period. End of statement. No argument. If they don't accept this, don't play the game. Next. Well, if it is a monstrous creature, how does it fire more than two weapons? Ugh, this is when I start going like this, and I go, oh my god, what idiot am I playing? Okay, uh, let, me, let me explain it to you. Because instinctive fire is a special rule, and special rules override standard rule limitations. That's why they're called special rules. But, 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 no, no, buts. Okay, now, now what else? Let's read Instinctive Fire carefully and simply follow what it says. No interpretations. Okay, just standard following what it says. Each weapon on this model automatically fires at the nearest unit within range and line of sight. Okay? The shots are resolved at the end of the shooting phase before morale checks are taken. Each weapon can fire at a different target unit, but they cannot be fired in any other way or at any other time. No snap firing. I, I, is there a question? I don't know. So, so they're going to say, but wait, but wait, but wait. No, 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 I'm not going to wait. Because I know what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to say unit designation of firing. No, no, there is no unit designation of firing. It's a special rule. It sets aside the basic rules. So here's how it works. Let's imagine that you have five models, each one being a single unit. I fire my Venom Cannon. Boom. It blows up the first model. Do I stop? firing. No, I do not. I have four more shots. These shots will then fire at the next farthest away unit. Now let's say I hit and I blow up that guy. Boom. Three more shots. Next farthest away unit. Boom. Two more shots if I kill it. Next farthest away unit. Boom. Boom. Until you fire all five weapons in a 360-degree arc because it's a monstrous creature. There is no interpretation here. I'm just literally following what the rule says. And if any idiot... Well, so far it hasn't happened to me because I explain it this way. And I've never had a person come up to me and say, Uh, mm, uh, no. 
They just understand. I don't know why this is confusing to anybody at all. If you wipe out a unit, that's all it's saying. If you wipe out a unit, you keep firing. You don't stop. That's it. That's all you have to explain. If, if all five shots go into one unit, and there's still a model alive at the end of those five shots, then this is not a problem. It only applies if you wipe out a unit. And, as it says, there are no morale checks. You do not resolve the entire shooting phase on that unit and then check morale and then see if it runs away. No, 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 no. You do this before morale checks. So the only time this comes into place is if you hit and kill a model or the entire unit, you will, whatever remaining shots, will be fired into another unit. So you have a possibility of wiping out five units with this. And if you have multiple uh, 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 testicles, I mean uh, spore pods, then you do it again. They all go at the end. I don't know what the confusion is. So, I hope this settles it for everybody. And have fun killing Space Marines. Because I really think that's what it comes down to. Space Marine players are just not used to the losing. Chaos or vanilla. I don't care. They're just not used to dying. Get used to it. Tyranids own you. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>